question that I think most of my listeners are asking myself or asking themselves is this, oh, wait, is it okay to call myself an evangelical? What do you say to that? Well, if, if you're in a conversation and, and you're able to explain what you mean, sure. That, that, but if, if you're, you know, on the five o'clock news and you got 30 seconds to make a point about something else, you can't take 28 seconds to say, well, here's the kind of evangelical I am. Here's the kind of evangelical I'm not. And let me now answer your question, but then you'll, you'll be off to the, to the, you know, the football scores or something like that. So I, I mean, evangelical seems to me still, still to be a, a really good word, but increasingly it becomes difficult to use it just because of what uh, connotations are, 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 are helped. We have a, a short essay in the book you mentioned by Tommy Kidd, a really fine historian at, at Baylor, who does get pulled into th these debates. And I, I sympathize with, with Tommy because I, I, I think of myself as my day job is really American history of 18th and 19th century. And then you get asked to talk about these modern things and, and Tommy's the same way, but but he, he, he has made a really strong effort in articles and a fine book from Yale University Press to say, well, Yes, these other things are important, but evangelical really should be defined in religious terms and in history of the religious use of the term. It's to me a very sound argument, but but it might be an argument that uh, you know he, he's got fifteen thousand people reading his books and one broadcast on on the evening. Uh, you know, you know, uh, well, I'm gonna, you know, ten broadcasts because there's all sorts of different things. Uh, will 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 have you know a, a million and a half uh, uh, viewers. So I'm, I'm not really optimistic about the future of the word evangelical in American public discourse. I think for world purposes, uh, for, for if you're given a chance to talk about what you mean for uh, the development of, of so much of uh, church life in North America, I think I've heard from a number of sources that the, the only evangelical type or evangelical churches that are, that are growing rapidly in Canada are from, from world constituencies. Many of the, of the uh, evangelical type and evangelical churches in the United States that are flourishing are, can be characterized in the same way. So if, if uh, you're in a situation where you're able to explain how you're using the term evangelical, primarily thinking about religious emphases and religious tradition, it's a word that's going to work, work fine. But in, in a cultural situation where the political snap uses of the, of the word are predominating, uh, then it's, that's a very different story.